So you maybe already know that uh, YouTube is full of GoDot versus Unity videos. Literally, all the time people are comparing it over time. I include myself because I've done a lot of videos about it, and it's a pretty interesting topic. Now, in this video in particular, I want to tell you my experience about actually using them and getting the most out of them. So, first of all, I'm Marco Pauletta, a game developer and content creator with more than four years of experience. I have been able to work at very big companies such as Voodoo as a participant in the Academy program as an external studio. Oh, well, here you can see um, uh, some of the games that I have created. And as you can see, my skills include Unity and C Sharp as the advanced ones because this is the main, um, these are my main skills. And I also do go to plus JavaScript, which I would say like intermediate, okay? Uh, mostly every single game that you see here has been made with the Unity engine, as you can see. So what exactly have I created with Godot and how I've been able to combine them? So, for all folks out here at Zemba, I've been a Godot and Game Maker course instructor. I created 10 Godot courses, which is a lot. So actually, for example, here you see maybe the thumbnails of the games that I have created. Once again, simple stuff, not complete stuff that is able to be published. But once again, simple, fast things, in this case, for teaching. And not only this, but in my own Udemy um, profile, okay, I've, yeah, I've created like even more, more, more go to the games combined once again with Unity courses. So this is the key thing. All the time on YouTube, we see people, including myself, telling you use Unity or use Godot, depending on your preferences. Once again, that's completely valid, okay? It's a pretty interesting and important choice which engine you you end up using, okay? Of course, then you can adapt to others. If you know one engine, it's super, well, not super easy, but it's doable to easily adapt to others. Um, but I've never seen anybody trying to combine both. So the cool thing about uh, Godot itself is that um, it's pretty easy to use. You already know that. And the cool thing is that there are some companies that are interested in creating things with Godot. Maybe they are not um, big game studios, but they are maybe academies. Okay. Um, okay. Um, oh, this was the, the, the website. I'm sorry. But basically here, websites, okay, of people... Um, the, of actually companies, okay, that are selling Godot courses, okay? I've been a, a instructor here creating Godot courses and they are all the time releasing new stuff here with different authors. So this is a potential opportunity with the Godot engine. Education. There are not as many uh, Unity resources as Godot resources. Um, so if you like education, you can start your own Udemy profile right now. Start selling your own courses here. It's a pretty complicated path. It's a path in which you maybe spend... 10 hours in something, okay, and you are only paid, I don't know, $50, okay, it's not something that is gonna give you a lot of money at this moment right now, but if you kind of start building your profile here in Udemy, in the long run, there's people that is doing a lot of money here, okay, a lot, a lot of money with education, because more people are starting to use the Godot engine, okay, and more people, therefore, want to learn it, and remember, there is sent... Uh, that many resources as there are with Unity. Godot has just been popular for the past, let's say, three, four years, and Unity has been popular for decades. That's why there is way more information about it. So, the main thing here is that there is a huge opportunity in terms of Godot, okay, economic opportunity in the educational area. That's the first thing. I know that there are also possible opportunities if you work for a game development company, maybe their small studio, there could be, I have seen, but they were either junior or, or trainee positions, like super lower paid or only um, paid based on the commissions of the game. So once again, it's not uh, that bad, okay? But with Unity, you have way more opportunities. Here's not on my professional experience yet because this portfolio is outdated. But currently, I'm working in, in a company that creates um, casual and hybrid casual games. So here it is, okay? And we specialize in this type of games that probably you have seen literally um, everywhere, okay? So this is, for example, our latest release right now, HeroCraft, okay? Um, a, a game that combines like an RPG game with also a merch gameplay, so it's pretty interesting. And of course, which engine were they using? Unity. Why? Because all the senior or semi-senior developers, when they were learning game development, they were taught Unity. Okay? Because Godot didn't exist, or or if it or if it existed, wasn't that popular. So for a company, it's way easier to just continue using what they know about. That's why they will they won't switch to Godot unless there is like a super a huge uh, reason for that. 
So they, if you want to to kind of work at a studio, at established job, like the, the usual thing, yes, Unity is a perfect option, but you can do it as I do. I work for companies or even freelance clients, okay, that most of them want Unity games, okay, for different reasons. And then for, let's say my, not my own company, because it's not a company, but let's say for my own personal brand, for my own business, I use Godot because there is, it's way better to, it's way easier, sorry, to grow a channel on, on Godot rather than on Unity, okay? And the same thing with selling courses and all that. In reality, if you take a look at the number of, of people that have enrolled on my Unity course, for example, and it, this one is a super comprehensive course, by the way, uh, this course has something like 31 students, which is not that bad, but it's a course, as you can see, super long, and I only created one, so I could experiment with more, but at least in my experience, the ones that uh, are about to go, for example, this one, it has way more students. It has something like 50, 60, something like that. For 50, okay, so close to that. So way more, okay? Um, so th so that's how I like to combine both. Um, of course, for my main job and, and my main expertise and what I sincerely like the most for my personal workflow is Unity. I think it has more tools, at least from my point of view. Uh, I love uh, their script of objects, inheritance in C sharp, abstract. Well, now Godot is also kind of inventing abstract classes. I love C sharp interfaces. I know God has like uh, also kind of its um, its things. Okay, its unique stuff and even these things of C sharp abstract classes, interfaces. Uh, it doesn't have a prefab variants, but it has inherited things. So I know it has its things, but I don't know. Unity just feels better for me. So what I recommend that you do is take the best thing of both worlds. Uh, if you love indie game development, you want to create something fast, easy, and you love the Godot community itself and the Godot workflow, okay, go with Godot for your own indie games. But then if you actually want to make a living out of it, or maybe just work at a normal company, you will have to use Unity. So that's the, the main thing here. Uh, stop thinking about, okay, uh, just Unity or, or Godot, Okay, but start thinking as a combination of them depending on your workflow, on, on what you want to do, etc. That's my main advice over here. And the cool thing is that if you go to the description of this video, you're going to be finding all these links to all my Godot and Unity courses. And not only that, but also you will be able to get them at a huge discount. For example, this Unity course at something like 35% off. This ChatGPT course, 63% off. Godot course, 35% off. Godot, another Godot course, 71% off. Another gold course, 71% off. So at super cheap and affordable prices, you will be able to get them. So make sure to check them out in the description down below. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.